What you're seeing and what you're reading is not what's happening. The last thing before we go tonight, gaslighting. Merriam-Webster has named gaslighting their word of the year for 2022. They explain, quote, in this age of misinformation, of fake news, conspiracy theories, Twitter trolls, and deep fakes, gaslighting has emerged as a word for our time. A driver of disorientation and mistrust, gaslighting is the act or practice of grossly misleading someone, especially for one's own advantage. The term comes from the 1938 play Gaslight that was later turned into a movie in which a man slowly convinces his wife she's insane by hiding things from her and lying. The gas lights in the house would flicker and dim when he'd sneak out at night. Miriam Webster says gaslighting was looked up a lot every single day of the year. The term was searched over 1,700% more often than the previous year. Want to know why? Just take a look at some of the gaslighting scorching our screens over the last 365 days. Знаете, мы не вторгались в Украину. Мы объявили специальную военную операцию. I already know who the winner is, and the winner is me. In 2020, I received the largest number of votes of any sitting president in history by a lot. We're going to adjudicate all of 3 November. We can't. We're not really going to believe this. 100%. You seriously 100%. think it was a stolen stuff? 100% no. Anything, and she still thinks it was, and she's oh, still talking about 100%. it? 100%. People stormed it's the true. Capitol over the dude. These are, these are lies. That was not by Trump. That was These are lies over the lies. It's not, by the way. If you weren't lying it's, about hang, it, that hang, wouldn't happen. Hang, hang, hang on. Come on. You, you don't believe this, 100%. man. I'll argue with you about the border. You don't believe this. I'm not doing 100%. this anymore. As more people try to gaslight us into believing what is not real, it is crucially important to call out the lies like we just saw right there, our friend Tim Miller did to Steve Bannon in that last clip, calling it absolute BS. He was pushing lies, Bannon was, and he knew it. Remember, the truth matters, but only if you hear it.